road trip time. 351 mile drive ahead of me. Topped off on fuel. Everything zeroed out here. Ready to roll. Here's the key. This shows your fuel by blocks, eight blocks of fuel. That first block, the best I've ever seen was 79 miles, I believe. So let's see if I could get more than 79 miles out of that first block of fuel. About to hit 85 miles. First block of fuel is still there. So I went seven miles at least over my previous best of 77 miles before that first block goes away. There it is, 85. Will I get 90? If I get 87, that's 10 over. Oh, it just went away as I was talking. So, 85. So I went 7 over what I normally get. I wanted to go the whole 355 miles before I filled up but it's almost 6 o'clock and the traffic's getting a little heavier so I'll fill up soon 77 miles to go but around 6 o'clock it's gonna get traffic so I'm gonna have to up my speed I don't want to drive 55 in this tiny car when everyone's going 70 so I'll fill up soon 6 o'clock so the freeway is getting more busy, so it's time to start driving at a normal person's speed, especially in this little car. So 222 mile range, 51 mpg according to the computer, 290 miles traveled, so looks like I had a 500 mile range. So let's see, let's see if I get 50 mpg. I'm here at the best truck stop. 379 for premium. Can't see it, but it's 379. As always, two click method. One. Two. 5.973 gallons added. Traveling 290 miles cost me $22.69. Actual fuel economy, 48.7. Not 50, but pretty close. 1.3 mpg away from 50. According to the computer, I got 51, though. But it wasn't quite 50. But traffic's going to pick up now since it's 6 o'clock. People are headed to work, so I have to drive like a normal person now. Normal person speed. It's a tiny car in an Econo line. You could drive 55. People aren't going to try to run you off the road, but in a little car, people kind of bully you. Okay, I attempted a road trip at 55 miles per hour. The freeway was empty enough to try it in this little car. 48.7 is what I could manage. I think the problem is the mountain. That 12 mile or so climb is what really hurts my fuel economy. So I think as long as I'm crossing that mountain, I'm not going to get 50 mpg. 48.7 is close. So I'm trying something different right now. I never tried 70. I like to hyper mile, but let's do 70. Most people drive at 70. I'm going to do 70 right now. So let's start it up. It's a good sound. Everything's zeroed out. I'll even put it in sport mode. So all 18 PSI of boost is available. And I like to turn off stability control. I just like doing that. So let's try this out. First block of fuel. So at 55, that first block of fuel lasted me 80, almost uh, 86 miles, I think 85. So let's see, let's see how soon it takes for that first block of fuel to disappear at 70 miles per hour. First 20 miles down. 
current fuel economy. 40. I would like to sustain 40, going 70 miles per hour. I predict I'm going to get 36 MPG due to the mountain pass. That's going to hurt my fuel economy, but 40 MPG at 70, that, that's pretty good. The EPA rates this car at 33 highway, maybe 34. 33 or 34, I don't know why it's such a low rating from the EPA on, uh, on the freeway. I'm getting 40 right now at 70. So, there it is. First 20 miles in. I'm at 40 mpg at 70. RPM is right at 3,000 at 70 miles per hour. Too bad this car doesn't have a six gear. This car would get even better fuel economy if it had six gears instead of five. Okay, I'm at the steeper part of the mountain. Over six psi of boost right now. And here's where the semi trucks can't keep up. This is where they have their hazard lights on because it's such a steep climb. Elevation going up quick, 1,700 feet. But I'm still at 70 miles per hour. No downshift needed. But now I'm boosting at about 7 psi. 36 mpg. It's really going down now. First block of fuel just went away at only 54 miles. So at 55 miles per hour, I didn't lose my first block of fuel until 85 miles. But I'm pretty sure the mountain climb really hurt me a lot. MPG right now is down to 34 due to the mountain climb. Arrived to my destination. 70 miles per hour cruise control. Sport mode. According to the computer, I got 39 MPG. Looking at how many bars of fuel I have left, I predict 36. I think that's what I predicted earlier, but I predict 36 MPG. Let's go ahead and get the actual numbers right now. 260.6 miles traveled. 91 octane recommended, 87 octane minimum. Of course I went with the 91, $4.17 a gallon, 7.302 gallons added. Let's get the actual numbers. Actual fuel economy, 35.6, so that was pretty close. So if you drive 70 in this car, you'll get about 35, 36 miles per gallon, maybe a little better if I didn't have to cross that mountain at 55 miles per hour, 48.7. So is it worth it for you to get to your destination faster or do you want to get 13 miles per gallon better? That's a lot. So I think I'm going to keep hypermiling.